Coronavirus numbers in North Carolina trending in the right direction. 3,600 more people tested positive for the virus. You can see that dotted line there continuing to trend downward after a massive spike last month. Still, more than 8% of tests are coming back positive. Health experts say they like to see that number under five and nearly 2,600 North Carolinians are in the hospital battling serious cases of COVID. Thankfully, that number is also going down. And with that, Many people still in the hospital. Doctors say more than 1500 ventilators are being used in North Carolina. They say COVID patients who need that support are the sickest of the sick. And right now, 98% of them are unvaccinated. We've talked about this throughout the entire pandemic, but what is the process of being intubated? WCNC Charlotte's Chloe Leshner spoke to an expert about this today. She joins us live from Atrium Health in Dilworth. Chloe, what did they tell you? Well, Fred, a ventilator supports somebody's body and helps them breathe until they're strong enough to do it on their own. But doctors say in most cases, putting a COVID patient on one is a last resort. The quick listen. When other COVID treatments haven't worked and a patient's lungs are so damaged by the virus, they can't breathe on their own. Doctors have to sedate and intubate them. So intubation is essentially putting a breathing tube down so that, that way it attaches to the, uh, the ventilator and the ventilator helps to push air and oxygen and helps to provide breathing to your lungs. Dr. Jaspal Singh is a pulmonary critical care specialist at Atrium Health. He says being intubated is a standard procedure for surgeries and being put on a ventilator is a safe and effective treatment. Someone who's on it for a shorter period of time typically recovers, but in the COVID ICU, patients can be on life support for weeks or even months. And the longer you're on it, the more chances of other problems. Problems like infections, blood clots, bed sores, or pneumonia that sometimes cannot be avoided. Those who are fortunate enough to come off the machine after an extended amount of time may have trouble eating, sleeping, or walking. Even before COVID, patients who had long ICU stays from being intubated, very few of them actually go back to functioning in the society the way they did before. It's a necessary medical decision, but one doctors don't take lightly. You have to take a moment of pause and wonder, will this be their last breath that they'll see somebody? Will this be their last meal that the one they just had? Will that be the last time they see their family members with their own eyes in without a breathing tube in? Um, you do wonder about it because the mortality is high. And a stat worth repeating, doctors say 98% of the patients on a ventilator right now are unvaccinated. Coming up at 6, we'll introduce you to a local woman who spent 24 days on a ventilator. She experienced this firsthand, and she shares her, her story in the next hour. Live at Atrium Health, Chloe Leshner, WCNC Charlotte. Chloe, thank you.